Hola, feliz Navidad. Uh, estoy aquí con mi en México, con mi quesadilla. Yo hice mi quesadilla ahora and I'm at, yo voy a hablar de un topic muy serio. Um, I'm going to talk about a very serious topic today. Um, and I'm doing this um, in light of Christmas. This is an English video, so I'm doing this in light of Christmas. I was going to do a quesadilla video today, but I realized that's kind of pointless because it's a serious topic. And um, in light of Christmas, I wanted just to do a video talking about um, the mental health struggles that people go through during Christmas and how undermined it really is. Undermined it really is. Bear in mind, um, just for to fill in, I've made the decision to spend Christmas alone this year. I'm in Mexico right now, as as, as you all know on YouTube, and um, um, this is more of a kind of a retreat from life, you know, a retreat from all the Americanized holiday stuff, all the constant Christmas music, Santa, Rudolph, Frosty, blah, 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 blah. And, um, and I also just needed some time away in a place more humble, a place more peaceful, a place where, um, a place where I can just think and, um, and be at peace, listen to the roosters crow, place where I can meditate and a place where I can just, you know, pray. Um, and, um, you know, I was reading online that the suicide rates, um, around the holiday seasons are so much higher. And I'm not going to lie. I've been going through depression myself. Um, and, um, for, for quite a while now, and that's just a confession here. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to hide it. One of the reasons I'm here, but um, but I realized that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not alone. There's lots and lots of people who are struggling because they feel really alone on the holidays. They feel by themselves. They feel like they're they're lost and alone and really have nobody. And maybe they went through something traumatic or maybe they went through something that, like, destroyed their life or something, that, that changed their life or something like that. Maybe they went through something that... Maybe they went through a heartbreak, or maybe they went through uh, something that, like, um, maybe you lost a loved one, or maybe, I don't know, maybe their people are growing up this year without, like, or having their first years in Christmas without their fathers, or without their mothers, or without their brother, or, you know, due to losing someone this year, or without their grandmother, or without their grandfather, and, um, you know, there's just so many things that can cause people to be depressed during this time of year. That can cause people to be hurting during this time of year. I was reading something online, and I'm also eating my quesadilla. So um, you're gonna come across, you're gonna come into contact with a lot of people who are at, at their absolute breaking point this week. Friends, family, coworkers, teachers, strangers in the grocery store, retail workers. Well, maybe the merriest and happiest and jolliest time of year for most people. It may be the saddest, most stressful, loneliest, and most heartbreaking for others. We're all busy. And it's something we should all keep in mind. We're all busy. But we're not too busy to be kind, caring, and patient. Remember the best thing you can do. The best thing you can give someone this season is love. And in reality, how true that is, you know, love people this season, you know, be kind to people this season. It's just my encouragement to people, you know, it's like, no matter who you have a grudge against or no matter, I don't, I don't even care how you, uh, what kind of uh, resentment you have to another person who you have a grudge against or whatever, love them, be kind to them, show them the love you want people to show you. It doesn't matter if you, you're mad at them or they're mad at you or you have, you have you know, some kind of resentment toward them or they have some kind of resentment toward you or whether they're a total stranger or whether you don't know them or whether, you know, just in general, you know, just in general, my encouragement is just be kind to people. Be kind to people. Love people. And, and I just hope this provides some kind of encouragement, you know, because if you're struggling in the holiday, if you're struggling at Christmas, you're not alone. I promise you. You're not alone. 
And, you know, I think that at the end of the day, you know, we all need to be there for one another. We all need to love each other and be there for one another regardless. And it's a tough world out there. It's a hard world out there. And, you know, every person's act of kindness makes this a better world. Every person making the decision that I'm going to be a kind person, that I'm going to be a good person, that I'm going to be kind to others, that I'm going to love others, like Christ commanded us to, like Jesus Christ commanded us to in the scriptures. You know, every person that makes that decision that I'm going to be a kind person, I'm going to love this person, I'm going to love one another. I'm going to choose to be kind to someone this holiday season. I'm going to choose to be kind to somebody struggling this holiday season. Every person that makes that decision, and not just the holiday season, every day, every day. But every person that chooses to be kind, chooses to be loving, chooses forgiveness over over holding a grudge, love over resentment, kindness over meanness. Every person that chooses kindness makes this a better world. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I think that's my, um, if you will, my Christmas message to all of you guys. Is love people. Be kind to people. Be there for people when they're struggling. And um, just be there for people. And be kind to people. And love people. Your family, your friends, even people who are not your friends, you know. Even people who you probably haven't talked to in a long time. Even people who are struggling. And, um, and even people you don't really know, you know, just, just love one another and be kind to one another, you know, as Christ has loved you. That's the, I guess that's, if you will, the Christmas message, you know, and obviously remember the true meaning of Christmas, <coughs> which really wasn't December 25th, um, which is really, it's about the birth of Jesus Christ, our savior, the one who came and died for all of our sins on the cross, was buried and rose again on the third day. As atonement for all of our sins, regardless of what they are, and um, died to save us, to redeem us all back to the Father. No race, creed, or color. No race, creed, or color, or any of that stuff. You know. And that's the message. You know, Christ was born. You know, and we're supposed to be celebrating. You know, the birth of Christ. Not supposed to be, you know, it's this whole Christmas culture, and that's one of the reasons I'm in Mexico because the people are so much more humble out here. They're humble, and um, we're celebrating the birth of Christ. And this Christmas culture, particularly in America, but also in other wealthy parts of the world, is just all about corporate Christmas and Santa Claus and Rudolph and Frosty and reindeer and elves and blah 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 and you know, shopping, gift buying, and, you know, meanwhile, people, meanwhile, the people who are just feeling lonely, and meanwhile, there's people out there who are lonely and struggling and who are literally dying. Um, so, like I said, sum it up, just love one another. And um, that's my, if you will, my Christmas message to you guys. This is my encouragement. I have read that suicide rates are higher. Maybe I said that earlier in the video, like during the holiday season. And uh, just be kind with one another. And that's all. Thank you for watching my video. And um, I love every one of you. Like and subscribe to Javier Blog 208. And I'll see you all soon. This is Javier Blog 208 from Mexico. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico.